Hi everyone, and welcome to another episode of Horizon Forbidden West. Now, unfortunately, we had an issue again. I don't know what causes this issue, and I don't know how to fix it. But with my capture software crashing and losing footage again. So, I don't know. But you didn't miss anything interesting. All we did was travel further to the north and do some upgrades. And now we're fighting some Tanakh rebels to try and defend a village over here. So we're going to jump back into that fight. Can I reach that far? Sure can. I got him. Is that the last one? I think it might have been. Oh no, it sure wasn't. I hear somebody else. I'll this for later. I don't know where they are though. They're over there. He didn't stay stunned for long, did he? <sighs> Save those smiles for your families. The Tanakh understand only strength, and ours was a poor display at best. They will be back. You, the one who actually won this fight for us. A word. I want everyone fortifying the pass. Ah, your warriors seem... Green as early spring. There are children playing with sticks. It's all I can do to keep them alive. It'll only get harder. So far, the rebels have sent mere scouts. But it won't be long till they return for an all-out assault. And if they bring machines with them. We'll need a lot more than eager hearts to win. You seem to know a lot about Tanakh's tactics. Back when the Tanakh clans pushed back the Karja raiders, I joined the fight. The Tanakh taught you how to fight? More than that. They taught me how to work with metal. I'm probably the only Utoro who can. Never thought I'd be using what I learned then to fight against them now. Well, I suppose it's a good job you did. You can help defend these people. Where are we going? We may speak freely here. Are you going to speak then? So, what's the plan? The plan was making new weapons for my so-called fighters. I sent my best climber, Voss, up the drum route to get the materials we need. Wide mods leave metal pods we use for crafting at its summit. But the derangement has made them as dangerous as the climb to reach them. Boss has yet to return. We have defenses to set up, and we are running out of time. If the savior of Meridian is willing to lend us her strength a little longer, I believe you can get us what we need. You know who I am. Red hair, bow, fights better than ten warriors put together. You're well known, and so is your little disagreement with the chorus. Can't Plainsong help? Plainsong has abandoned all settlements this far out. Then why not just leave? They're clearly outnumbered and under-equipped. You could leave. Head to safety. Have you ever seen a flower so small and white? When it falls, it looks like snow in spring. My daughter called them Winter Song. She carried their seeds to the day she drew her last breath. Now those seeds grow in the grove, at the heart of River Hem, planted by my own hands. As do the ones of every brother and sister, taken from us during the Red Raids. We, I, will not abandon them. Well, that seems fair. 
your daughter's seat. I'm sorry about your daughter. The raids took her from me. I found my peace in every carja that fell beneath my spear. Now all I have left of her is planted in the grove here. No Tanakh will force me out. Do all Utaru carry seeds with them? We are given our pouches soon after we're born. When we die, the seeds are buried. A reminder that our deaths bring new life. It is how we remain one with the rhythm of the world. That's really cool. I like that. The drum root? What makes the path up to the drum root so dangerous? It's a cave of sunken passages and gaping caverns that only the very skilled can navigate. It serves as a safe haven for my people, but machines have patrolled its deepest passageways ever since the derangement. Even so, River Hem and the Grove live off its waters. We are connected to it as much as we are to the seeds growing behind you. Um, I, I, I can't remember. Is, is that, do you pronounce that Q? Key? I don't think I caught your name. Q. I am the metal weaver of River Hem. But all you really need to know about me is that I plan to keep my people alive. Thanks to you, we might actually have a chance at that. Well, I'm glad I could help. Metal pods? Tell me more about these metal pods. They are... Tricky to collect. The wide moss sow them. One must be quick enough to gather them before the soil and water take them. But their metal is among the sturdiest I've ever weaved. Without them, our chances of survival are slim. All right then, what do you need? Oh, if there's no convincing you to leave, I guess we're making some weapons. You have my thanks. There's no time to waste. Follow me. This way. With those pods and a whole lot of luck, we just might get out of this alive. Let's hope these sprouts can hold their ground against a squad of machines. I can only cover so much ground and my joints aren't what they used to be. Look to me like they chose to stay here as much as you did. It'll be the fight of their lives, that's for sure. This water looks amazing. Almost there. This is the best we can do to hide those who cannot fight. But if we fall, the Tanakh will find them sooner than later. We're here. Can we talk to me again? Okay. This is it. Do you have any questions? Um, no, I've asked all of them already. I'm good. I'm ready. Good luck. Come see me at the forge when you're done. This is a pleasant surprise. In good health? Hush! The blight has taken to the air here, Outlander. Please, keep at bay. Oh. Am I just climbing this? Guess I better start finding my way up to the top. That would be useful. Up we go. I'm going to have to fight my way up, I'm guessing, at some point. I'm guessing the derangement has... He said the derangement had made the things dangerous, didn't he? So... I guess I'm going swimming. Okay, are we go I guess I'm going through there. I might be wrong. Oh, 
All right, can I need a sheet? No, it's the right way. I'm guessing that's Faust. These wounds were made by machines. I should take a seat pouch to Q. It seems to mean a lot to the Ataru. <sighs> Burrowers. Same ones that killed Faust, probably. Um, do I try and be stealthy? I have got nowhere to be stealthy, really. So I'm thinking. Thinking we just go all in. How can they do? They just, everything just does so much damage when it hits you. I pressed dodge. Should have died. Let's find a way up these caves. Of course, I see the small mushrooms now. Oh well. I've gone from being full on heels to not having any spare heels again in one fight against two fairly straightforward things. I do need to get better at the combat in this game. I take way too much damage. Where did you say I was going? Is the right way? I'm gonna go with yes. I don't know if that was necessary, but it looked like it would hurt if I just jumped off. I hope there's a quick way back down. There's a metal flower in there that I can't do anything with. So is that the main room I was in? That's not what I wanted to do, Aloy. Can you grab hold of that from here? Probably not. Let's try again. There we go. Some more heels in there too. Gonna get gliding. Okay. Let's carry on.
I'm so confused about where I'm supposed to be going sometimes. Because that's where I came in, right? So where am I going? I missed a path up here? Looks like there was just loot up here. Can I get to that? Apparently not. Because that's the tunnel I went through right at the beginning, right? This, this is the way I came in, right? Yeah, because that's where I got that. That's where I got the green shine or whatever. Whatever it was called. Ah, here we go. The other side of this is climbable. That's where this is. Alrighty, progress. Now where? Over here. This has probably been the worst place for trying to figure out where I'm supposed to be going. Because you can end up far enough away from the walls and stuff to not be able to see or if I time it right, I might be able to jump and use my pole caster to get to the other side. Um, like sometimes I've been far enough away from the wall that I've done my pulse and not been able to see like the lines of the line here. So it makes it a bit difficult when I don't see those lines. Grab all of that. Let's carry on climbing. Made it. Time to find those wide moss. Do we have to? Sounds like it's going to lead to a fight. I'm guessing that's them down there. A borrower. There they are. Those pods they're rejecting. They must be the ones Q needs. Looks like I can just pick them up once they fall to the ground. If I'm quiet enough, I can get them without the machines ever knowing I'm here. Sounds good to me. Are there places I could hide? There's another cauldron that could teach me. There is another cauldron. 
We just haven't got... We haven't got over there yet. I know where it... it. Well, well, you turned up. That was very unexpected. I'm guessing I can hide. They know something's up. Can I hide in that grass that's in the water? There's like water weeds. If not, I don't see how I can get anywhere near. Does this keep me stealthily hidden? Got it. Okay. I need six of these things. Do. They seem to be ignoring me now. Sneak into here. And they leave me alone. You may carry on. Off you go, come on. There we go. That should do it. Better get back to queue with these. Okay, sounds like a plan. Can I just jump? And that's the big question. Might as well gather some of that. I definitely need some of this. Hi guys. How you doing? I hope it doesn't freak him out when I just, like, turn up and glide down onto... Oh, I glided too far. Yeah, that was pretty close. I got what you needed. Not a moment too soon. Did you find Voss? I brought his seed pouch back. I pray it'll be the last I bury. But now I need to get the weapons ready. Let's hope it'll be enough. It'll have to be. How did that miss? Not holding back. Don't stop shooting. Attack. You heard him. 
I'm just going to run out there. Who fights without honor? Don't let up. I'm not giving up. Great shot. To all my lord. Don't let them trick you. Let the ready. I see the door. I can't see anything. Okay, that one's... I'm not going to get there in time, am I? Not if that happens. How did I do it? What hit me? Like, suddenly I was at half health. I didn't even notice what hit me. That came from so far away. That's one of the big machines now. You okay? Um, I'm coping. Use that core of yours, Hunter. Finish them down. How, why did they explode in fire? No! Yes. Why are you hiding up here? Stop hiding in this tiny crevice. Come on, you. Guess these young ones knew how to aim after all. Even so, we owe you this victory, Huntress. It wasn't my strategy or craft that got us here, Q. I just brought in some parts. Even so, I want you to have this. It did good by my people. It'll do good by you. I'll take good care of it. Be safe out there. Thank you, buddy. Stay safe, Outlander. I will certainly try. I'm going to grab all this loot. Because we definitely want loot. And while I'm collecting this loot, I might as well do my outro because this is where we're going to end this episode. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do next episode. We'll look for another quest to do, do some more exploring. Technically, I'm the right level up for to go and do the next main quest. Because I've leveled up to level 17 and so is that quest. But I've been really struggling with fights and taking just absolutely tons of damage in fights recently. So... I'm. I'd rather level up a bit more before I go and do that. So we'll find something, some quest to do, 
next time out. If you enjoyed this one, oh, there's a side quest to pick up here as well. Um, so we'll do that at the beginning of next episode. If you've enjoyed this one, hit the like button below. I'll let me know what you thought in the comments. And join us next time for the next one.